praise again for another morning glory. Amen. God has been good to us and we thank God, amen, that he has blessed us uh, to see another day. Amen. And uh, it's, um, uh, it's an exciting time just to see what God is going to do in our lives on today. Morning by morning, new mercies that we see and all that we have needed, God's hands has provided. Great is his faithfulness unto all of us. And I'm sure all of us can testify that God is great and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. Good morning, Sister Ruth Harper, Sister Juanita Singleton. Good morning to you. Sister Judy Northfleet, good morning to you. Amen. We give God praise for all of you joining us on this morning. Amen. 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 Listen, I want to share with you this morning. Uh, this devotional called Fully Persuaded. And, uh, and I wonder how many of us are fully persuaded this morning. Romans 4.21 says, And being fully persuaded that 
what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Amen. Romans 8, 38 and 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, amen, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That's one of the great scriptures, amen, that we hold on to, amen. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, amen, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Good morning, Sister Sandra Brown Cooper. God bless you on this morning. Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Timothy says, Second Timothy 1 and 12 says, For I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Lord, have mercy. That's a good word this morning. Romans 14 and 5 says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Amen. Romans 14 and 14 says, it says, um, uh, I know and, and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus. And then 2 Corinthians 5 and 11 says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Amen. And this is why we preach, my brothers and sisters, to try to persuade men to give their lives to Jesus Christ. Uh, last night as we were studying uh, the book of Revelation, amen, this is why we preach. Because uh, in the book of Revelation, we know that, um, that, that the wrath of God eventually is going to come upon the children of disobedience. Those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord will experience a terrible time such as never been experienced by mankind before. And that's why we preach and that's why we try to persuade men to come to Jesus while they have time. Amen. Good morning, Sister Kim Dean Close. God bless you on this morning. My brothers and sisters, there are many today, and sad to say, uh, this includes many claims, many claim to be Christians who apparently are not sure, not confident, nor persuaded about anybody or anything. They are not sure about their job or their credit, or their marriage, or their friends, or their abilities, or their future. And furthermore, they are not even sure about themselves. Lord, have mercy. They are not sure, amen, of what is right or what is wrong. Amen. Of, of what is good or what is bad, or what is decent or what is indecent, what is moral or immoral, pure or impure. Safe or unsafe, true or untrue. And since they are not completely convinced, Lord have mercy, about anything, they have no convictions, no stability, no assurance, no joy, no peace, no hope, no solutions. Amen. Uh, as a result, they live a very miserable life and wretched life. Good morning, Sister Tawana Perry. God bless you. My brother and sister, life has become a pain to them. And they, Lord have mercy, they uh, seemingly don't know what to do about it. But thank God, amen, it doesn't have to be this way. And it's certainly not this way for those believers who are fully persuaded about some things, amen. In order for a Christian, amen, to be 
a happy Christian, a victorious Christian, a overcoming Christian, a confident Christian, they need to be totally convinced that God is God and Jesus is Lord and that sin is sin and that time is short and that eternity is long. Amen. We can never, my brothers and sisters, really uh, 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 persuade others about our Christianity until we are fully persuaded ourselves. We must be persuaded, my brothers and sisters. We must be persuaded that God is righteous, that holiness is healthy, that faithfulness is rewarding, that prayer is powerful, that life is uncertain, that Jesus is coming, and that uh, uh, salvation is sweet and glorious. We must uh, be. Uh, we must become fully persuaded, my brothers and sisters, that He is able to keep that which He has committed. Amen. Uh, uh, unto him against that day. We must be fully persuaded. Amen. That he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. We must be fully persuaded, my brothers and sisters, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We must be persuaded. Amen. That he is the way, the truth and the life. Hallelujah. Good morning. Amen. Buddy man, London Black. God bless you, man. We must be fully persuaded that he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Hallelujah. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We must be fully persuaded that he is indeed the Christ, the son of the living God. And we must become fully persuaded, my brothers and sisters, that he shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Somebody ought to put in the chat, I am persuaded. Hallelujah. I am fully persuaded. Amen. We need to be fully persuaded. Hallelujah. That the Bible is indeed true and holy. That its author is indeed Jehovah God. That it is command, uh, that its com commandments are indeed righteous. And that its prophecies are indeed genuine and true. Amen. We ought to be persuaded that uh, uh, its promises are indeed precious and its message is indeed one of salvation and forgiveness. And we also uh, need to be fully persuaded that uh, uh, its judgments are just and certainly deserved. As Christians, my brothers and sisters, amen. We need to be fully persuaded. Hallelujah. Fully persuaded that the rapture will, will be soon and very soon, that our faith will be rewarded, that God's grace will be sufficient and always is sufficient, that sin will be judged and hell will be hot and miserable and that eternity will be long. Hallelujah. And we need to be fully persuaded that the heaven, amen, will certainly be worth every trial, every heartache, every difficulty, every problem, every burden, every hardship, every affliction that we encounter before we get there. And in order to become fully persuaded, we dare not rely on the wisdom and reasoning of man, but we must believe in the Holy Spirit, for it is he that will guide us into all truth, and then we must be filled with the Spirit, Live in the spirit, walk in the spirit, rely on the spirit, fully obey the spirit, and yield to the spirit. And we must never quench the spirit, restrain the spirit, limit the spirit, restrict the spirit, refuse the spirit, mock the spirit, or belittle the spirit. Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be, to be fully persuaded involves more, much more than just being a member of a local church or singing in a choir or giving one tithe, amen. To be fully persuaded, my brothers and sisters, amen, uh, means that uh, uh, you are totally committed, amen, no matter what may be the cost, that you are genuinely happy 
No matter, amen, how, no matter how, amen, uh, heavy the burden may be, that you are completely convinced, no matter what others say, that uh, you are thoroughly de dedicated, no matter what others do, that you are absolutely determined, no matter what others may think. Hallelujah. That you are, amen, uh, entirely devoted, no matter, amen, how others may respond. And to be fully persuaded also mean that uh, you are assuredly, amen, heaven bound, no matter how long or how rough the journey may be. Amen. That's right, Sister Jackie. I am fully persuaded. That's right, Connor Willis. I am fully persuaded. That's right, Danita Taylor. I'm fully persuaded. Hallelujah. That's it, Ronald Dale. I am fully persuaded. You got it. Amen, Deborah Fuller. I am fully, hallelujah, persuaded. My God, my God, hallelujah. We give God praise for being fully persuaded. Hallelujah. To be fully persuaded means uh, that it seems to you that your Lord is always becoming more loving, that your salvation is always getting sweeter, that your joy is always becoming fuller, that your experience is always becoming richer. Hallelujah. That your blessings are always becoming greater. And that your hope is always getting brighter. Amen. And it also means that heaven always seems to be getting closer and closer and closer. Both the church and the world need Christians that have some depth to them. Amen. Good morning, Sister Marion Bowden. Amen. I said both the church and the world need Christians that have some depth to them, that uh, have some stability to them, that know how to live and live it, and that it uh, 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 and that and that and that and that they are amen productive and fruitful in their spiritual life. This maturity, my brothers and sisters, within a Christian can only develop. If they are fully persuaded, amen, somebody. Good morning, Sister Tanya, Tanya uh, Rayner, my old high school friend. God bless you. Amen. Dr. Augustus Henderson, good morning to you, and God bless you. Amen as well. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, to, be, uh, 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 to become, uh, in order for someone to become fully persuaded, amen, means that they have placed all their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Adjusted all their priorities to align with God's. Uh, uh, it means that they have built all their house on a solid rock. Amen. It means that they have put all their confidence in God's eternal word. It means that they have given all their allegiance to Jehovah God himself. Amen. They have discovered all their satisfaction to be in Christ and who have committed all their future to living for him, no matter what may happen. For a person to be fully persuaded means that uh, the agnostic, amen, uh, do not discourage them. The skeptic do not detain them. Amen. The, the cultists do not deceive them. The doubters do not divert them. Amen. The indifferent do not distract them. And the ungodly do not defeat them. And it also means that the corrupt do not defile them for they, amen, will not permit it nor allow it. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Angela T. Stafford says, I am fully persuaded. You can't make me doubt him. Amen. Because I know too much about him. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Brother Bernard Close. Amen. Sister um, uh, the Lord Howard. Good morning to you. Amen, as well. My brothers and sisters, to be fully persuaded means that you have both feet planted on the rock. You have both hands, amen, amen, a hold of God's, amen. You have both eyes looking to Jesus. You have both ears, amen, in tune to heaven. You have both legs standing firm in eternal truth. Hallelujah. You have both arms Amen. Uh, full of the goodness of the Lord. 
and you also mean, and it also means that uh, both uh, your actions and your attitude magnify and glorify God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, to be fully persuaded means that Christ means more to you than our worldly ambitions do. Christ means more to you than social ladders. Christ means more to you than prestigious positions. Christ means more to you, amen, than diamonds and pearls. Christ means more to you than silver and gold. Christ means more to you than houses and land. And that Christ means more to you than stocks and bonds. Lord, have mercy. To be fully persuaded, my brothers and sisters, mean, amen, that you know without a doubt that in spite of the long, dark nights, amen, God is still God. Amen. That in spite of how low hanging storm clouds are, God is still God. Amen. In spite of the turn of the tide against you, God is still God. Amen. In spite of the upset of personal plans, you know that God is still God. Amen. In spite, amen, of the adverse winds of sorrow, God is still God. In spite of the hardships of life, God is still God. And it means that in spite of many frustrations, disappointments, amen, you may uh, uh, encounter, you know with full certainty that God is still God and that he always will be God. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I am fully persuaded. I am persuaded, Lord, to love you. I am convinced to bless your name. I am persuaded by this great gospel forever to worship you. Hallelujah. And to be fully persuaded, my brother and sister, means that you will not allow Satan to deceive you. Amen. You will not allow worldly pleasures to ensnare you. You will not allow circumstances to trap you. You will not allow fleshly lusts to control you. You will not allow hell's demons to to harass you. You will not allow personal problems to overwhelm you. Lord have mercy. And it also means that you will not permit difficult situations to discourage you nor cause you to turn aside from the straight and narrow way. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Yes, Shalice. Fully persuaded. Hallelujah. God is still God. Hallelujah. You write about that, Sister Stanford. Amen. Good morning, Sister Van Tinsley. Amen. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Listen, to be fully persuaded means that you trust not in riches, but in God only. Amen. That you listen not to the doubters, but God only. That you uh, uh, do not rely upon the experts, but God only. Amen. That uh, it means that uh, you confide not in mankind, but you confide in God. Amen. That you pray not unto idols, but you pray unto God. Amen. That you, amen, uh, surrender not to anybody, but to God only. Amen. And it also means that uh, uh, you lift up no name. Amen. But that blessed name, that holy name, that wonderful name, that glorious name, that delightful name, that loving name, that magnificent name of Jesus. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Uh, sister, sister, sister Ruth Harper said, I needed this word today. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sister Juanita Singleton says, thank you, Lord. A word today. I am fully persuaded. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. My brother and sister, to be fully persuaded. Amen. Means that you are absolutely confident. Amen. That Jesus is indeed the shelter in the time of storm. Amen. Jesus is indeed the bright and morning star. Jesus indeed, amen, is indeed the wheel in the middle of the wheel. That Jesus is, is indeed the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. That Jesus is indeed the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. Good God from Zion. 
that Jesus is indeed, amen, the rock of our eternal salvation. And that Jesus is indeed the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. To be fully persuaded means that you completely trust God in everything. Amen. And with everything. It means, my brothers and sisters, that you are totally convinced. Hallelujah. Amen. That nothing is too hard for God. Amen. That uh, no place is too remote for him. That uh, you are totally convinced that no problem is too hard for him to solve. Amen. You are convinced that no situation is too difficult for him to handle. Amen. You are, amen, convinced that no chain is too strong, amen, for him to break. Amen. You are convinced that no sin is too hidden for him to see. Hallelujah. And it is also, it also means... That, that, that you are completely convinced that nobody is too sinful for him to save. Hallelujah. Oh, I bless his name today. I bless his name today. My God, God is so good. And we give him praise for who he is to us on today. Hallelujah. I am persuaded, Lord, to love you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. That we serve a good God. We serve a God, amen, who is able to take care of all of our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Are you persuaded today, my brothers and sisters? Are you persuaded that he will take care of you? Are you persuaded today that he will see you through? Are you persuaded, amen, today Hallelujah. Amen. My God, I am persuaded. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And I give him praise today for all that he's doing. Amen. God is so good to us. Amen. And we are to bless his name on today. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Julius Yeldon. Amen. Amen. God bless you today, sir. Amen. Um, we pray. Amen. Pray that you find your pray that you find your cell phone. Amen. Amen. Pray that you find it. Amen. Deborah Fuller says, God over everything. Too close. Amen. To my journey's end to turn back now. That's why I'm totally persuaded. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Julius Yelda said, thank God for his mercy in forgiving sins. Amen. Amen. Constance Willis says, I am persuaded. I know that's right. Lord, have mercy. My brothers and sisters, furthermore, to fully be persuaded means that you have no doubt regarding the birth of Christ. No reservation regarding the deity of Christ. No hangups regarding the life of Christ. No confusion regarding the death of Christ. No qualms regarding the resurrection of Christ. No question regarding the ascension of Christ. And that you have no uncertainty regarding the return of Christ for his church, the redeemed. Those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am persuaded. Amen. We'll finish talking about that on Hallelujah Friday. Hallelujah in the, in the house Friday on tomorrow. But I am persuaded, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And uh, and I want to play this song by, um, by Thomas Whitfield as we close. Precious Jesus. I love you, Lord. How I live, how my voice. With your praise. Holy Spirit. 
we implore thee. Drench my heart as my lips parts your praise. I am persuaded. That's right, Sister Ruth. With your praise. Holy Spirit. I implore thee. Drench my heart. As my lips. Parts. Your praise. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it, but Dr. McLean, I am persuaded by this great gospel. I am persuaded, Lord, to love you. I have been changed to bless your name. I am persuaded. I'm constrained by this great gospel. Forever. Forever to worship thee. Hallelujah. 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 I am persuaded. Lord to love you. Glory. 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 To bless. To bless your name. Glory, glory, glory. Forever to worship. Yeah. I am persuaded. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To bless your name, I am constrained by this great gospel forever to worship thee. Hallelujah, hallelujah, forever. Ever to worship thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a word today. We are persuaded to love you. No depth, no height, no anything, no principality or power shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, that we are persuaded. Hallelujah. To let nothing separate us from your love. God, we want to thank you that, God, that there were times our faith was shaken. Circumstances of life shook our faith, tried our faith. But I want to thank you that the trials of our faith it worked patience in us. And we thank you for that today. Father, help us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Help us to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And help us to understand that our labor is not in vain. Hallelujah. So God, meet the needs of your people today. That no matter what we go through, let us be persuaded forever to worship thee. It is in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Well, my brothers and sisters, may God bless you. May God keep you. Amen. Look, have a great rest of your day. Amen.
I believe this with you as we close out. What God has for you, it is for you. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. I love you in Jesus' name. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Don't forget this coming Sunday. is homecoming Sunday. Amen. We're going to praise God. We're going to eat well. And we're going to praise him some more. He will bring me out. What God. You're so welcome, Sister Stacy. God bless you. You're welcome, Sister Dolores Howard. God bless you. It is for me. It is for me. What God has for me, it is for me. I know without a doubt He will bring me out Hallelujah God bless y'all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for Hallelujah Anyhow Friday. Have a great day in Jesus' name.